Adobe Audition Training, The Basics. Session 1, Setting Up Your Audio Input and Output. Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. If you're a regular viewer to my channel, you'll know that I get into detail with the nitty gritty of radio production effects. But if you're a complete beginner, this series is for you. It's a five part mini series where I'll take you through the Adobe Audition Training Basics. Take a look at my screen now. This is the screen you'll be presented with when you first open Adobe Audition. Now the first thing you'll want to do, and what I'm going to show you in this tutorial, is how to set up your audio input and output. You can access these settings by hitting the Audition menu, going to Preferences and General, or simply hitting Command and Comma on your Mac. Now you'll see Audio Hardware, which is the first place you want to click to set up your device. Device class is Core Audio there, and you'll see Input and Output. By default, these will be your default sound device that you're using on your computer. You may want to change it. Like for instance, in my case, I'm using the Sapphire. That's an external audio interface there. So that's selected for input and output. Master Clock, you'll want to keep as your selected input and output. So in my case, the Sapphire. You can also alter the buffer size, which by default is 512, and usually that's absolutely fine. And the sample rate, which again, by default, 44 100 hertz is absolutely fine, and that is CD quality. The next thing you'll want to check is your audio channel mapping to make sure you've got the correct audio channels mapped to record and play back in Adobe Audition. Now, for me, it's Sapphire Input 1 and Sapphire Input 2 for my microphone, and then the output here is Sapphire Monitor 1 for my left speaker and Sapphire Monitor 2 for my right speaker. These settings may vary for your own setup, but this should be the basic way to get started recording and playing back in Adobe Audition. If you'd like to get more audio production tips and tricks, click through to the website on your screen now and sign up to my newsletter with your name and email. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.